Welcome to Exam Coach Pro. Get ready for three complete FAA Part 107 practice tests, each in two parts of 30 questions. These tests are designed to mirror the real exam so you can prep better to score higher. Let's get started. Regulations, Registration Requirements. When must a small UAS be registered with the FAA? A, always, regardless of weight. B, only if over 0.55 pounds. C, only if flying above 100 feet, A, G, L, D, only if used commercially. Correct answer, B, only if over 0.55 pounds. Regulations specify that any small UAS weighing more than 0.55 pounds or 250 grams must be registered with the FAA prior to operation, regardless of recreational or commercial use. Regulations, visual observer communication. What is required between the remote PIC and visual observer during flight? A, shared control system. B, FAA monitored radio link. C, effective communication at all times. D, visual hand signals only. Correct answer, C, effective communication at all times. The FAA requires that the remote PIC and visual observer maintain effective communication to ensure safe operation. Regulations, remote ID exceptions. Which operation is exempt from remote ID requirements? A, recreational flight in class G airspace. B, flight inside a recognized FRIA. C, commercial operation under part 107. D, any flight below 50 feet. A, G, L, correct answer. B, flight inside a recognized FRIA or FAA, recognized identification area. Operations do not require remote ID. All other part 107 and recreational flights outside of FRIAs must comply. Weather, hazards. Which condition poses the greatest hazard to UAS operations? A, stable atmosphere with light winds. B, fog with visibility of two statute miles. C. Strong surface wind shear near thunderstorms. D. Broken clouds at 8,000 feet. Correct answer. C. Strong surface wind shear near thunderstorms. The FAA identifies surface wind shear near thunderstorms as a critical hazard, producing sudden velocity, changes in turbulence dangerous to UAS operations. Regulations. Pre-flight fuel or battery check. What must be verified before flight? A. Aircraft weighs less than 55 pounds. B. Visual observer is present. C. Battery or fuel reserve is sufficient for operation. D. FAA waiver is approved. Correct answer. C. Battery or fuel reserve is sufficient for operation. The FAA requires the remote, PIC, to verify that sufficient battery or fuel reserves exist for the intended operation and contingencies. Regulations. Operations from a moving vehicle. When may a UAS be operated from a moving vehicle? A. Always if under 55 pounds. B. Only at night. C. Only over sparsely populated areas, not carrying property for hire. D. Never under Part 1. O7. Correct answer? C. Only over sparsely populated areas, not carrying property for hire. Regulations specify that operating from a moving vehicle is permitted only over sparsely populated areas and not for property transport. Regulations, remote pilot responsibility. Who is directly responsible for safe operation of a UAS? A, manufacturer. B, visual observer. C, air traffic control. D, remote pilot in command. Correct answer, D, remote pilot in command. Regulations specify that the remote PIC is directly responsible for and is the final authority as to the operation of the UAS. Temporary Certificate Validity How long is a temporary remote pilot certificate valid? A. 30 days B. 60 days C. 90 days D. 120 days Correct answer D. 120 days. The FAA issues temporary remote pilot certificates valid for up to 120 days while the permanent certificate is processed. Airspace, grid ceiling, MEF. 
refer to figure 5, sectional chart grid with 5-8. What does 5-8 indicate in a sectional chart grid? A. Minimum altitude. A. G. L. B. Maximum elevation figure. 5,800 feet. M. S. L. C. Class D floor altitude. D. Minimum safe. V. F. R. Altitude. Correct answer. B. Maximum elevation figure. 5,800 feet. M. S. L. The FAA defines maximum elevation figures as the highest obstacle elevation within a grid, expressed in hundreds of feet MSL. Regulations, hazardous materials. Can a Part 107 drone carry hazardous materials? A, yes, if under one pound. B, yes, with waiver. C, no, prohibited under Part 107. D, only during emergencies. Correct answer, C, no, prohibited under Part 107. Regulations specify that small UAS may not carry hazardous materials under any circumstances. Weather, dew point spread. If the temperature is 25 degrees Celsius and dew point is 24 degrees Celsius, what is likely? A. Strong winds. B. Fog or low clouds. C. Thunderstorms. D. Unlimited visibility. Correct answer? B fog or low clouds. The FAA requires a narrow temperature dew point spread of 2 degrees Celsius or less be treated as an indicator of fog or low cloud formation. Airspace. Restricted airspace. Can a UAS be flown in restricted airspace? A. Yes, with permission from the controlling agency. B. Yes, with FAA waiver only. C. Always permitted under Part 107. D. Never under any condition. Correct answer, A, yes, with permission from the controlling agency. The FAA specifies that restricted airspace requires prior permission from the controlling agency before a UAS may operate within it. Performance, payload effect. Refer to figure six, payload weight versus flight endurance. If payload weight increases, what happens to endurance? A, endurance increases. B, endurance decreases. C, Endurance remains constant. D. Endurance improves with heavier payload. Correct answer. B. Endurance decreases. The FAA requires that increased payload be accounted for, as it reduces endurance by increasing power demand. Regulations. Accident reporting threshold. When must a remote pilot report an accident to the FAA? A. Any damage, regardless of amount. B. Only if injury occurs. C. If serious injury or property damage exceeds $500. D. Only if FAA requests correct answer. C. If serious injury or property damage exceeds $500. Regulations specify that the remote PIC must file a report with the FAA within 10 days if there is serious injury or property damage greater than $500, excluding the UAS itself. Operations, crew communication. During UAS operations, what communication technique improves safety? A, nonverbal signals only. B, closed loop communication. C, silence until an emergency. D, use of technical jargon. Correct answer, B, closed loop communication. Closed loop communication ensures messages are acknowledged and confirmed, reducing misunderstandings. Nice work, you've made it halfway. If these videos are helping you, please take a moment to like and subscribe. Your support makes it possible for us to keep creating free, high quality practice tests. Thank you, now let's continue. Human factors and aeronautical decision-making, which mnemonic helps remote pilots evaluate personal readiness before flight. A, PAVE, pilot, aircraft, environment, external pressures. B, decide, detect, estimate, Choose, identify, do, evaluate. C. I'm safe. Illness, medication, stress, alcohol, fatigue, emotion. D. Care. Consequences, alternatives, reality, external factors. Correct answer. C. The I'm safe checklist helps assess personal fitness before flight by checking health and stress factors. Human factors and aeronautical decision making. Which risk management model uses a step-by-step -step process? Detect, estimate, Choose, identify, do, 
evaluate. A. Pave. B. Decide. C. Care. D. I'm safe. Correct answer. B. The decide model guides a pilot through hazard recognition, choice, and evaluation of outcomes. Human factors in aeronautical decision making. Scenario application. A pilot recognizes weather moving in, estimates winds will exceed limits, chooses to land, identifies an alternate site, does the maneuver and evaluates the outcome. Which model is being applied? A. Care. B. I'm safe. C. Decide. D. Pave. Correct answer, C. This example follows the full decide model cycle in a real scenario. Airspace, authorization requirement. Which airspace requires prior ATC authorization? A, classes A, E, and G. B, classes B, C, D, and surface. E, C, class G only. D, classes B and G only. Correct answer, B, classes B, C, D, and surface E. The FAA requires prior ATC authorization before operating in Class B, Class C, Class D, and Surface Class E airspace. Weather hazard identification, referred to METAR. What hazard is indicated in this report? A. Snow showers. B. Fog. C. Thunderstorms with rain and cumulonimbus clouds. D. Turbulence and stable air. Correct answer. C. Thunderstorms with rain and cumulonimbus clouds. The FAA identifies TSRA and CB in METARs as thunderstorms with rain and cumulonimbus clouds, both hazardous to small UAS. Regulations, responsibility for maintenance. Who ensures a UAS is in safe condition for flight? A, FAA inspector, B, visual observer, C, manufacturer, D, remote, PIC, correct answer, D, remote, PIC, the FAA requires the remote, PIC, to ensure the UAS is in a condition for safe operation before each flight. Regulations, over people scenario. You are filming at a stadium with a Category 1 drone. What is true? A. You may operate if remote ID requirements are met. B. You must apply for a waiver. C. Operations prohibited at stadiums. D. Only allowed at night. Correct answer, A. You may operate if remote ID requirements are met. The FAA allows Category 1 drones, less than 0.55 pounds with no exposed parts, to operate over people if remote ID requirements are met. Regulations, pre-flight briefing. Who must be briefed before each flight? A, only the remote PIC, B, ATC, C, all crew members and visual observers, D, FAA inspector. Correct answer, C. Regulations specify that the remote PIC must ensure all crew members and visual observers are briefed on their responsibilities and emergency procedures before each flight. Regulations. Weight limit. What is the maximum weight for a small UAS? A. 25 pounds. B. 33 pounds. C. 55 pounds. D. 75 pounds. Correct answer. C. 55 pounds. The FAA defines a small UAS as weighing less than 55 pounds on takeoff, including payload. Regulations, emergency authority. In an emergency, who may deviate from rules? A, air traffic control. B, FAA inspector. C, remote. P, I, C, D, visual observer. Correct answer, C, remote P, I, C. The FAA authorizes the remote P, I, C to deviate from any part 107 rule as necessary to meet the demands of an emergency. Weather altimeter setting. A METAR shows altimeter 30.12. Your system is set to 29.82. How will the altitude read? A, 300 feet higher than actual. B, 300 feet lower than actual. C, 600 feet higher than actual. D, no difference. Correct answer. A. FAA requires correct altimeter settings. A setting too low causes the indicated altitude to read higher than actual. Regulations, visual observer responsibility. Which is not a visual observer responsibility? A. Maintain visual line of sight. B. Scan for hazards. C. 
communicate with remote PIC. D. Operate UAS controls. Correct answer. D. Operate UAS controls. The FAA specifies that the visual observer may never operate controls. Their role is to assist the remote PIC by maintaining line of sight and communicating hazards. Space. TFR awareness. How must a remote pilot check for temporary flight restrictions? A. Call nearest airport. B. Check FAA TFR database or before you fly app. C. Monitor ATIS. D. Ask law enforcement. Correct answer. B. Check FAA TFR database or before you fly app. The FAA requires that remote PICs check official sources before flight to avoid violating TFRS. Operations. Task management. What is the primary hazard of poor task management by the remote PIC? A. Over-reliance on GPS. B. Task saturation leading to errors. C. Excess battery drain. D. ATC denial of clearance. Correct answer. B. Task saturation leading to errors. Inadequate task management can lead to distraction and missed cues, increasing risk of incidents. Regulations. Final authority. Who is the final authority for safe operation of a UAS? A. FAA. B. Remote PIC. C. Air traffic control. D. Visual observer. Correct answer. B. Remote PIC. Regulations specify that the remote PIC is the final authority and directly responsible for the safety of each UAS operation. Thanks for watching Exam Coach Pro. Don't forget to hit subscribe and check out the next video to keep practicing, just like the real FAA exam. Or explore the full playlist for all 180 questions and gouge study sheet. And remember, you can download the complete exam pack at examcoach.pro.